am I biting off more than I can chew? Probably. Is this project gonna be done by the time Carnivale starts? No, 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 probably not. But we're gonna do it anyway. So I have this mask that I actually got in Venice like three or four years ago and I think I picked it up around the time of Carnivale that year and I've been wanting to make something to go with the mask. I just haven't really had the motivation or the confidence to do such a thing. But now I have a bit of false confidence and a deadline. Those two things are motivating me quite substantially. So I took a trip to the thrift store and picked up some curtains while I was there. And what we're gonna be working on this week is a chemise à la reine with this sheer tan curtain. I got two of them in one pack. This will be the underdress for the whole Carnavale costume, basically. So what I want is something that's gonna be peeking out from under the over skirt and stays, but I haven't quite figured out the whole design. So instead of planning things out thoroughly and having an idea of where I'm headed with this project, I'm gonna just start with this this week and see where it takes me. Hey Wilbur. All right, so I have taken out the hem basically on the curtains and then I ironed it because the fabric had been folded for such a long time that the creases were very much embedded in there so I needed to get those out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut down the fabric so that I have all the fabric that I need for the body of the dress and then I can use the rest for the sleeves. And I also want to cut out the armholes and the neckline before I start cinching it. Okay, so what I'm, hey Google. Okay, so what I'm trying to do right now is fold the fabric in half so that I can just trace both sides of the armhole onto the fabric at the same time and cut it out all together. But I think it's not gonna happen that way. I'm gonna have to do all separately traced and cut because this fabric is proving to be tricky and it's very wiggly and slippery and it just doesn't want to stay put. So I don't think that's going to happen. And that's poopy, which means I have to make another pattern. And this is my, my beautiful pattern right here. Uh, there's the front, there's the back. It may or may not make sense to you, but I hate wasting paper. So I just make my life more complicated. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to make another one of these, or at least kind of trace through it on the back so that I have both sides. Um, because this folding in half thing is, is not working out for me.
All right, I have the armholes all cut out. It took me a lot longer than I really wanted it to, but I'm glad that I separated it into individual ones rather than trying to sandwich the fabric together and cut them all at once because that would have been a hot mess. Now is when I need to start the gathering cinching process. And I really want this to look similar to a traditional chemise à la reine. However, I am going to use modern techniques such as elastic because I really just want to be able to slip this on and off over my head rather than having to deal with ties and I want, I don't want to slip down the front. Yeah. So I think I want to use a technique called shearing that will allow me to just kind of send it through the machine, gather it all up with the elastic in it. And I think I'm going to have just a block of shearing from the underbust to the waist. All right. As I'm sitting here editing this video, I realize that I say shearing basically throughout the whole video. Uh, so no, uh, no confusion here. What I mean is this word the entire time. Okay, cool. Bye. Which means that I need to mark some lines on my fabric before getting it to my sewing machine. Now, you will be very proud of me because I got a water soluble pen for this purpose because uh, I figured Sharpie was not the best bet with sheer fabric. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have a different idea. <laughs> There's a lot of factors like seam allowance on the top that I need to consider. And since I need this to fall right under the bust and down to the waist, I need to get that measurement accurate. The problem is, is that this fabric is so wiggly that I'm worried that if I don't put the front and back together now, that it's going to get skewed and they're not gonna match up. So I think getting them together and then just doing the shearing all at once is going to be the best way to get everything even. everyone or good afternoon I suppose. Uh, yesterday I did get a good amount done while procrastinating on doing the shearing. So I did the side seams and the shoulder seams. Those are all encased nicely with a French seam. Looks really pretty. And then of course the bottom is already hemmed because this was already a finished product at one point so I didn't need to worry about that. Now we have a nice scoop neckline, that, that is the whole neckline, and it's going to be completely uh, gathered with elastic. And I did a quick iron on that just to have some idea of what the seam allowance would be and everything. So now I get to go in and do the part that I'm dreading, which is the shearing. And it's not necessarily the shearing so much as measuring a straight line all the way across. As I mentioned with this fabric, it's very wiggly. So trying to get a straight line is going to be a bit of a nightmare. And this doesn't fit fully on my table, so I'm gonna have to do some guesswork. However, I was thinking about it this morning and all I really need to do is get one straight line. Because once I have that, then I can sew that and then just measure a half inch from there on my machine and that will make life so much easier. So, wish me luck. Google, 
Stop the music. I have been listening to uh, Medieval Lo-Fi. Okay, so I am done marking a very messy line. It took me about 30 minutes to do this. You can see the blue there. Um, hopefully, I know it's not perfect, I know that, but hopefully it's good enough to look like a straight line on a curved body. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the actual shearing process. I did get elastic thread. Apparently we have to manually kind of put it on the bobbin and then I have to figure out tension on my machine. I am completely self-taught. I know nothing about what any of this means. I kind of just push buttons and see how it works. So I think I'm actually gonna look at the instructions this time and, and figure out what I need to do with the ten tension. I don't mm. Good news is that the elastic is working out nicely. Let's see if it'll focus on there. There we go. So we've got three rows of stitching. Never mind the blue, that's just the washable ink. It's looking really nice. I'm happy with it. The bad news is that I got impatient. Weird. I was just kind of trying to blow through a round of stitching and I accidentally stitched some of the top bit into that line of stitching. So now I gotta take it out. Great. And this is when Tuscany just gives up and doesn't record for four weeks because I don't want to do that one bit. I said guys, it's time for So I am actually very proud of myself because yesterday after telling you that I didn't want to fix my mistake, I actually scrolled on TikTok for 10 minutes and then I fixed my mistake and then I didn't do anything after that. So here we are. I have three lines of shearing done. It looks pretty good. If it focuses on it, it's always the problem. So. Here's the top of the dress. Obviously I need to cinch the top of the dress and then just keep on doing shearing. I think I need another like four or five rows. So just gonna keep on keeping on. Good evening everyone. Um, so right after I had talked to you last, I decided to do another row on the shearing and I figured that I was just kind of being impatient and I'm, I had this thought process where it was like, I should just get all the rows done and I'll like it once I get to that point. And then I did another row and I hated it. So I spent the next hour taking out all of the stitching that I had done and now we are going to start at square one and do it entirely by hand.
Good morning, everyone. Obviously, I'm here at my sister's babysitting for the kittens, and I'm slowly plugging along on this project. So obviously, I have got the elastic in at the neckline, and then I have two rows of elastic down at the waistline. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another line of elastic right below these two, and then I'm gonna try it on to see how it looks, what I wanna do with it from there. Hello. Uh, so I've got a cat and I don't want to get up because he's so cute. Uh, but I have finished the second line there. <laughs> and I think it looks really good. Um, so I'm going to get up in a minute when the prince decides it's okay and uh, try it on. Okay, so here we have the dress so far. I'm actually really happy with it. I am not happy with these puffy things here. So what I might do is actually alter the line of the seam on that side so that it just kind of takes that out of the equation. And I think I'm actually going to add another line of elastic below here because I want it to continue down. I don't like this kind of empire waist thing. So I think another line of elastic here, adjust this. And then after all of that, it will be time to get sleeves on. So I will get there when I get there. morning everyone so I worked on just kind of getting the sleeves prepared yesterday and now I am getting them into the sleeve hole so I'm actually very satisfied with the way it looks so uh, my camera battery died <laughs> sorry about that but what I was saying is that the pins arranged the way they were arranged was very satisfying Sadly, they had to go away, and while my battery was charging, I got sleeves onto the dress, and they look fantastic. Uh, so now, no more machine work. The rest of it is just hand sewing the elastic in. So I'm gonna do another layer of elastic at the waist, and then do the elastic at the cuff. I might do a couple layers of elastic at the cuff. It kind of just depends on how irritated I am with the dress at that point in time.
It's a little staticky, and I do feel like I'm kind of wearing a dress of plastic because it kind of is, but I love it. <laughs> I think it's a great use of recycled materials. I love the shape of the dress. It makes me feel like a bar maiden and also just kind of like sassy modern chick. There are definitely things I need to fix. Like I have string here that um, I just decided to say fuck it because um, I want this video to be over and I will work on it another time, AKA in three years. But I think this is a really great base for my Carnivale whole outfit dress thingamajigger that I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with. So uh, tune in to find out because that's what I'm gonna be finding out too. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a comment below, like this video, or even subscribe. Stay sane, stay safe, and stay healthy, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.